Hello everybody, happy Monday, and welcome to another edition of My Make It Monday, where each Monday I'm here to share with you some quick and easy projects that I'm working on in hopes to inspire you to do something creative as well this week. So how was your week? How was your weekend? I trust that you had a relaxing weekend here on Guam. You know, for me, it was pretty relaxing. Um, Special Olympics has started for me. Um, for those of you who are not aware, I'm involved with the Badminton Federation here on Guam. And um, this is the season for Badminton for Special Olympics. So starting every Saturday morning and Tuesday evenings, um, I'm there to volunteer to help with the, the athletes in um, learning. Um, Edmonton. So it's a lot of fun and it's pretty rewarding for me to do something like that. So are you involved in any types of uh, community work? Um, leave a message, be um, comment below and let's share what we're all doing for our community. Um, it's really good for the soul, right? Anyway, so if you if you like simple projects, um, you're in the right place. So be sure to like my page if you're watching this on Facebook or subscribe when if you're watching this on YouTube so that you are aware, um, you'll be notified when I publish or post a new video. All right, so today I was debating whether to work on something Thanksgiving or whether something Christmas. But you know what? I'm just not ready for Christmas yet. I'm still old fashioned like that. I want to do Christmas stuff after Thanksgiving. I mean, I have done some Christmas stuff, but you know, so because I'm working on stuff for Thanksgiving, um, so that one. So today's projects will be sort of Thanksgiving, but I'm sure you can extend it and change up the papers and stuff and make it Christmas. So without further ado, let me switch the camera around and let's get crafting. All right. So I do want to remind everybody that the annual turkey trot is still happening. Um, all you need to do is be one of the first five to submit an order of $50 or more, and you'll be in the drawing for these prizes. So in essence, every winner, everybody is a winner. If you're the first five, you're guaranteed to win one of these things. So it's super fun. It's my way to say thank you for your order. So um, just follow the link in the description box below to place your order and you'll be in the running for one of these prizes. Yep. Okay. So what got me thinking for today's projects is I'm still working with this um, Sweet Days of Autumn designer series paper and scrapbook kit. I mean, there's just so much in here that um, it's such a good deal. So I've got a lot of bits and pieces here. So I thought I could show you um, a couple projects that you can do with bits and pieces, right? So let's get started. So one of the first things that I love to do um, that, um, with little bits and pieces is this particular die, this perennial postage dies. It's a great way to um, cut out bits and pieces from your designer series paper uh, just to make it interesting. So with this particular designer series paper, um, you know the little critters are like in every direction. So this is one way to keep them all in one direction. So let me show you what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so let's start with our first card. This is, um, oh, what is the color of it? this? I'm drawing a mental blank here. Petal pink, yes, petal pink. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and used um, uh, the postage dies, right? and uh, cut out pieces from here, okay? So let me go ahead and work on here. So where's my long fold? It's just right here, yeah. So I just wanted to make sure it's scored well. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. Now remember, 
with your order of $50 or more, you actually will receive a packet of supplies to recreate um, the three projects that I'm showing you today. So be sure to use the link below when you place your order and that way I will know to send you the supplies packet. Okay, so that was easy. So, so we've got these all cut out and let me see how I want to put this together. Um, I think this is how I had it. I'm trying to remember what I did. There we go. I think this is what happens. But it doesn't really matter how you do it. And there's no right or wrong way to do it. Okay. So I think that's... Does that look okay? That looks okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, adhere this onto the card. So if you're watching this, whether on replay or live right now, be sure to uh, leave me a message and say hi. I'd love to know where you're watching from. And uh, yeah. Oh, hi, Mercedes. How are you? Happy birthday. I know yesterday was your birthday. I hope you had a fun celebration. So this one's here. And this one is here. So this is a really quick and easy way to um, use up your designer series paper where there's little elements here. And um, so you just kind of choose whichever um, orientation design you want. And it's a great way to combine them all together. So one of the things that we have in this scrapbooking kit is this, um, it's not wood, but it's a very heavy card stock that gives you the illusion or the feel of cardstock, okay? So I am going to um, punch out some of these elements. Uh, let me see, do I have? Oh, I don't have any of that. So I'm gonna do this. Okay. Hi, Ross, how are you? Thanks for jumping in. It's good to see you. Let's see, let's see. I think I need one more. Where is it? Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. So I always work with threes. If there's, if you want to have rules, that's the rule, right? So now you might be thinking, oh, I don't like this wood color. So you just flip it over and you can blend in the colors. And that's exactly what I'll be doing because I kind of want to get some color in here because it's a kind of subdu sub subdued color. So I'm going to get Cajun Craze. And I'm going to brush on some color. Now I'm going to brush off a little bit out there because as you can see, it's very heavy when you first um, approach it. So you want it a really soft look. So there we go, there we go. All right, so, okay, and then another color is green. And I have a green color. So everything is customizable, right? If you don't like the color, change it. Okay, there we go, uh, where did they go? Oh, there it is. There we go. So you always have options, right? So there's the green one. And uh, I think I'm gonna do the Cajun Craze again. I, I like the pop of color. So there we go. There we go, okay. 
So there. Okay, so let me put this away. Yeah, these blenders are excellent for applying colors to um, die cuts, right? So I am going to... And so one, I wouldn't say rule, but one way I always like to combine these elements together is to have embellishments that touch each of the pieces. So it kind of gives them that um, togetherness, if you get what I'm thinking. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing here. And that way, they're all touching. Okay, and so I've gone ahead and pre-stamped this, and I think I'm gonna put this right here. So let me go ahead and do that first. I'm gonna pop that up with the Stampin' Dimensionals. In our class, um, class Saturday, um, we were all saying, whoever invented Stampin' Dimensionals, they are the best, you know, way to embellish your card, right? I mean, what's a card without getting popped up, right? Okay, so those I'm going to use um, glue dots. Okay. So I'm gonna, there we go. And the green one. So see how easy it comes together. And if you know me, I always just, I love simple cards, you know. And the last one. So this one, I'm going to pop it in here. There we go. Okay, so simple little card, and it's a great way to um, use up some of your um, designer series paper that you've cut up, right? So this is one card, and let me show you another look that you could do. So this is a little bit more involved. This is like a sampler. And so again, I cut out with the post-stitch dies, and this is from the um, Peaceful Season or something. It's one of the new dies. And this, of course, is from the Ephemera packs, right? So quick and easy card. Okay, so that's that. Put this away. So another way that you can use up um, uh, pieces is this kind of a collage look as well and I'm going to show you how I do this so for the card that I want to share with you is this one okay so it's very easy you know you have little pieces that you've cut out already and uh, it's too small to be the whole card front so this is one quick and easy way to use that is to do this kind of a template okay and the way you do that is well this is at least my way I'm sure there's a million other ways you can do that is I first start with the two these two right and the best part about having stamping up papers is they're all coordinating you don't have to worry about whether it'll clash or not clash right so so let me go ahead and um oh okay so before I do that so this is my trick Remember how I always say that I love using scotch tape. So this is where it's going to happen. So let me go ahead. I flipped it around, okay? Because I wanted to make sure that I got this right here. Let's see. There we go. So once I'm happy with where it is, I'm going to get my scotch tape and tape it. There we go. Hi, Evelyn. Thanks for jumping in. All right. So there. So I'm going to put this aside. And now comes the fun part is this slanted. 
uh, piece. So I am going to just put it there, okay? So once I know what I'm doing is I'm going to do that. Okay, so then all I need to do is just cut off the excess, right? So that's why I wanted to use the scotch tape so that I know um, where to cut it. Okay, so, whoops, let me see how, okay, so there. So I am going to cut that off. So, go. So there, once I flip it around, ta-da, there it is, a patchwork. I think that's what you might call it. So let's go ahead and adhere that onto the card. So this becomes a lot of fun, um, you know, when you're testing out different combinations with the papers that Stampin' Up! has. It's just so much fun. And then you just mount it onto this cardstock and you've, you've got something ready to embellish. Yes, this is one of my favorite papers. Such a happy paper. It's not too solemn. You know, usually sometimes the autumn paper tends to be a little too solemn for me. Okay, so there you go. So I will embellish this later, but I wanted to share with you this is what you can do. Okay, whoops, this is a little piece there. Okay, so that's one card. So the next item I wanted to share with you is what started this whole thing of um, Thanksgiving because I wanted to do party favors um, for my uh, Thanksgiving event. And this was what I found. This design is from one of the artisans. Um, it's one of the European demonstrators and her name is, I wanna make sure I, I don't butcher her name. Um, oh, where did it go? I knew I wrote it down somewhere. Oh, how can I not? Oh, there we go. Name is Cornelia Jensen. I believe she's German demonstrator. But anyway, so the German demonstrators are excellent with party favor bags. They just they just do 3Ds so well. So whenever I need something, um, I always gravitate towards checking out their videos and learning from them. And so this particular box or party favor bag is from Carolyn Jensen. And I believe she is one of the um, artisan designers um, of Stamping Up. So it's very simple and um, very easy to just mass produce. And uh, let me show you, okay? So you want to start out with a piece of um, paper. Now I'm using a plain paper for here so that you can see the markings. So you want something um, six inches by 13 centimeters. Now don't get freaked out about the metric system. Um, it's actually not that bad because our trimmers all have the metric system. So it's no biggie, no biggie. So let me just show you. So we've got six inches, okay, by 13, 13 centimeters, okay? So on the six inch side, you're gonna score, okay? So we're gonna score first 4.5, okay, so 4.5, so that's four and a half, okay, seven centimeters, Eleven point five and fourteen. Okay. 
Okay. And then we're going to flip it around and it's going to be 1.5. So basically, if you need a bunch of these, I would be scoring them all at one sitting. Okay. So there. So that's the extent of your scoring for now. Okay. So let me go ahead and bring out our handy dandy ruler. And you'll want a pencil to mark some points here. Okay, so let me turn this around. So you want to mark off uh, five, cent five centimeters here. So there's five centimeters here. Okay, so now that I've marked that, I can easily, let me just make sure. Okay, so I'm marking five, five, five. Okay, so in this area there, okay, that's the fold. This is the fold here, okay? And then we're gonna mark um, 1.25, so one and a quarter. So basically what you're gonna do is 1.25, so one point, one point two, so point two five is just there. Okay, so again, 1.25, so that's 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.25, okay, again, 1 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.25, and then the last one, whoops, there we go, okay, so we've got all these marked up now. And we're ready to score that, okay? So, where is my pad here? Oh, oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, here we go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is my handy tool here is you're going to connect this to this, okay? And then from here to here. Now with all of these type of party favors, the first time you do it might seem like a lot of work, but believe me, I have done quite a few of this already and it comes together very quickly. So once you get the hang of it, it would be easy, okay? Okay, you see this now? There. So let's just finish up this part here. This doesn't look like it's 1.25. I think this is wrong. So I'm going to, because it's basically the middle. So I think that was a wrong mark there. So these are great party favors, and I could eat. And because of the way it looks, it could easily be the place settings for your Thanksgiving dinner. Okay. How's everybody's Thanksgiving plans for those of you who are in the U.S.? This is kind of late this year, right, for Thanksgiving? Okay. So we're done. So that is it now. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to cut out this piece here. Sometimes I wish for my Facebook Lives, there's a way I could speed things up, right? So, okay, so you're done. So this is basically it. That's the, oh, 
And then you want to corner round it. Oh, where's my corner rounder? Okay, where's my corner rounder? Okay, here we go. So you want to round the corners here. It's just basically to make it look nice, not only make you make it look nice, but also easier to um, close it. You'll see what I mean. So, okay. Almost done there. Okay, this is it. So now we're going to go ahead and fold on all the score lines. Okay, so now normally I would recommend um, using the um, tear and tape because, especially for us on Guam. Um, the humidity uh, requires a little bit stronger adhesive for these things. So that's what I'm using. And I think this is the end of it. I, I knew it. Okay, so it's a good thing I have an extra one. So let me see, where's the end of this? Or the start of it? Oh, what's that? Okay. Oh, there we go. So we're going to put piece right here okay and we're going to close this okay so you see the shape now so now then we're going to fold onto the score line here You see the shape forming now? There we go. All right. So you have two options, whether you want to glue the flap down or not. But I think for ease of, um, ease of taking things out, I probably would not. So all you need to do is just slip it right in here. Now you're gonna to have to coax it a little bit because, let me show you why, because it is actually pretty sturdy once you coax it in there. There we go, there we go. So there it is. So it's a pretty tight fit because it doesn't come out, which is great. Um, but of course you can always glue this if you want it to be a little bit more permanent. So before I shut this, I wanted to share with you what fits in here. So, um, we have Kit Kat, so a Kit Kat fits in here, yes, I think maybe two, let's see, would two fit in here? Mm, probably just one, okay, so Kit Kats fit, and then um, I picked these up from Donkey today, I'm so glad Donkey's here because I can really go all out with my treats here, so this little mini thing fits right here so it looks like a Hershey's would fit too so that fits in here what else fits in here um oh yeah these this is my favorite this black chocolate oh my gosh if you like dark chocolate this is a must-have so this one you can grab a whole bunch in here it just fits oh my gosh four five six yeah so you can fit in there so take this out first okay so so these fit okay so these are like little Hershey's so for those of you who don't have access to donkey um, you can get the Hershey's um, chocolates the little bite-sized ones those would fit in here so that's what fits in here and as I said you got to coax it in there ever so slightly because it's a pretty tight fit which is what you want because you don't want it to um, the, the what do you call it the flap to come out after you've um, put in the treats. So there, that's it. Okay, 
So how does it look? So, um, so this is my first sample because this is what I wanted to do for the Thanksgiving table. Okay. And this is also something you can do is I went ahead and used the um, dual colored cardstock and embossed it. Okay. I think if you used our regular cardstock, it might be a little difficult because our cardstock is heavier, but the um, two-toned uh, cardstock that we have right now is thin enough to do that. Plus, it also gives you that um, vintage look because the white will show through. Okay. So here's another example. Okay. And this is from the scrapbooking kit. Now, if you want to do Christmas, this is Christmas. See? Now, in case you're wondering what this is, this is from uh, the Nested Essentials dies. And I was using this, this for the size. Yeah. Of course, if you want it a little bit smaller, you can always um, choose a smaller size, right, which will work. Um, so play with it. Right. And then moving on to New Year's. Ta-da. So here's for your New Year's party favors. Right? So wasn't that fun? So simple and easy to make. And all you need is a little piece of paper. Um, basically, this is it. Right? And I love this because you don't need to add anything else. It's self-closing, right? Um, you don't need to have anything to tie. You don't need a ribbon. Um, and it's reusable. I mean, that is if they're gentle when they open it, right? But um, yeah, so great party favors and um, great way to use up your papers. Okay, so... Oh, you like the green embossed one. Yes, I know. It just gives it that very elegant look, doesn't it? And especially with that um, white showing through, it gives it that really um, vintage, um, you know, what do you call it? Shabby chic look, right? So, yeah. All right. I think that's it for today from me. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a message. I will be happy to respond. I hope you've enjoyed these projects that I've shown today and you're ready for Thanksgiving for those of us who are in the U.S. And if not, these are all totally doable for Christmas. You can use Christmas papers for these um, for sure. Okay. And remember, when you purchase $50 or more, you will, um, I will send you a packet to make these three cards, right? One, two, uh, two cards, and I'll, you'll have a piece of paper um, scored and everything like this so that you're ready to make one yourself, right? So you'll get that. So that's part of the thank you gift for placing an order with me um, using the link in the description box below. All right. Okay, so that is it for today. And uh, if you have, and there's no more questions, I guess I can say goodbye now, right? Thank you so much for watching, whether you're watching it live with me right now or whether you're watching it on replay later on. I really appreciate it. So make sure you like it and share it with your friends. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.